Hello and welcome to this week's edition of NCBA's Cattlemen to Cattlemen. I'm Kevin Ochsner. Thanks for joining us. All of us who make our living in the cattle industry not only love the way we live, but we also love to enjoy the outstanding product we produce, beef. And as an industry, we're blessed to have the Culinary Center located within the NCBA offices here in Denver, Colorado, to create new and delicious ways for us to enjoy beef. So this time around, we're sharing some of our favorite beef recipes, the ones you and your family will want to prepare over and over again. Let's start cooking. If you're like me, football season's always a time to enjoy family, friends, and food. Kristen Ledgerwood from the Culinary Innovations team is with us, and let's talk tailgating with beef, Kristen. Of course. Well, I think a lot of people think of beef to take when they're tailgating, but I don't think a lot of people think of brisket as an option. Burgers normally. Right. Yeah. Burgers are, are, are a go-to, so sure. why not try something different and do a little brisket? Um, this recipe today, we're doing a braised brisket. Okay. We're going to make some street tacos. Okay. Um, but we're going to do everything um, besides building your tacos ahead of time. Perfect. So you can just take it with you. Enjoy the game. And enjoy and, the game. Yeah, enjoy the friends. That's fantastic. And yeah. so you've already got a brisket started here it looks like. I did so I've got a I went ahead added a little bit of olive oil into my stock pot okay. and I'm starting to brown the um, both sides of my brisket. Um, okay, for somebody who likes to barbecue brisket you're you're worrying me a little bit when you put the the brisket in a stock pot and start browning you're wondering it. So about I'm, it aren't I'm, you? I'm, I am I'm uh, you're gonna have to sell me on this concept I love barbecue brisket. Well this is uh, a braised recipe, so we're going to add some liquid to it, okay. and we're going to get it, um, cook it until it's pork tender, okay. um, which it's just going to melt in your mouth. Very good. So it's another alternative to what you're traditionally use sure. your brisket for. Smoking a barbecue, yeah. Right. So, um, so like I said, we're just going to, we've just gotten this a little bit nice and brown. We're okay. going to brown both sides of those. Sure. And then we've got a little bit of that olive oil left in there. Okay. And we're going to start adding some of our aromatics to ah, the recipe. Give it a little extra flavor and so That's forth. That's right. What do we have in terms of aromatics? We have some onions. Okay, sure. So we've added, we've got sliced, sliced some onions in there. About how much? Just several? Just a, a, about a half a cup of onions. Okay, that's good. And some minced garlic. Perfect. So this is all going to mix in there and it's going to get nice and flavorful. You're going to start to smell it. A lot of times people wonder what you're cooking and right. it's, it's those onions and garlic that yeah. really start to make the smell. It smells, yeah, I, I love, I mean, I love those two anyway. Yeah. I don't know ever think of them with, with brisket, but uh, so, so you just, you're, you're just going to kind of cook those for about how long then? Um, just so they're um, sauteed enough to a little translucent. We're really just going to, about four or five minutes or okay. so, right. um, just to bring out that um, that lovely smell that you usually get with it. Yeah, absolutely. And then we're going to go ahead and add our brisket back in oh. on top of our onions. Okay. Okay. Very so good. We'll do that. And then you've got uh, some other things here, and I'm not sure what you've brought us here. Well, everybody, when they go tailgating, usually has some beer around, okay, right? Okay, sure. So you take one of those bottles of beer that you're going to... Uh, that you were going to drink. you were going to drink, <laughs> and we're going to go ahead and add it to our brisket. Okay. So we've just got one bottle of beer. Just as kind of a tenderizer, or what, what, what else this is, is it going to help yeah. break it down, but it's also um, going to be flavor. some flavor, yeah. a lot of flavor. Tomatillo salsa. Okay. So you can just find this in the grocery store, just a jar, um, and you're going to add some of that salsa in there. Very good. Now you can tell it's kind of quieted down a little yeah. bit. Yeah, yeah. So we're just going to um, stir that in there. Okay. And how long are, are you going to cook um, all these things then? This is going to go for about two and a half to three hours. Oh, wow. But our key is looking for fork tenderness. Okay. So you're going to stick a fork um, in there, and you're looking for the brisket to actually um, pull away from the fork. Very good. And that's when you know it's at that nice tenderness And stage, speaking so. of fork tender, uh, did you did you bring a sample for us? <laughs> I did. <laughs> I, I thought did. I saw that. <laughs> so we went ahead and cooked up uh, brisket beforehand oh, for wow. you all. 
And so what you do after it gets to that fork tenderness stage, we're going to take the brisket out, we're mm -hmm. going to go ahead and slice it. Oh, yeah. The sauce we're going to reduce down. We're going to make it a little bit thicker, and okay. we're going to add the brisket back into it. One more time. So and what does that do? It's going to add a little bit extra moisture, Flavoring. and then you're also your flavor is going to hold wow. into your brisket. So. And then you're going to take that uh, in a crock pot or something to just keep it warm, is yep. that right? Whatever you usually travel to that, that you can keep warm at, at uh, while you're tailgating, yeah. just go ahead and put it in there, and then while while you're um, we're making your tacos. Yeah, tell us about the uh, the tacos themselves. Sure. Yeah. So you pick your favorite corn tortilla, flour okay. tortilla, whatever you know your um, you like at the store. Pick that up. We're going to add the brisket back in there, and then some of our great um, toppings, some salsa, cilantro, green onions, whatever you feel like. Looks delicious, and so. it's it's especially easier. It just cuts down the stress and the hassle uh, at the tailgating party itself. Kristen, sure. you've taken tailgating to altogether different level this fall with <laughs> beef. Thanks for bringing us this Trying recipe. To make it easier. So thanks for having me, Kevin. You bet. For this and other outstanding recipes, visit beefitswhatsfordinner.com or you can go to our website at cattlemantocattlemen.org.